Hi, and welcome to Lessons with Cameron. In this video, we're going to discuss terms of music, just some basic terms that everybody should know. Helps you communicate with other musicians a little bit faster and get more work done in a single day or a single session. So the more you know, the easier it is to talk about it. So music is a combination of sound and silence. Sound itself can be broken down into percussive sounds and pitched sounds. Percussive sounds describe sounds that are like banging, clanging, snapping, popping, drums, for example. We look at pitched sounds as being within a range of high to low. Low pitches are very slow frequency sounds, so low frequencies, low sounds, meaning deep sounds, boom, like a bass. And then high frequencies, like a screech or a scream, the high frequencies are a much higher sound. Not, neither of these are particularly louder or softer. That's a different thing altogether. It's a whole different dynamic. But what this discusses is how high or low a sound is. So this is pitch, highness, and lowness. Beyond that, we then have a few different elements within pitch sounds. We have duration, dynamics, and articulation. So the pitch, of course, we just said is describes how high or low a sound is. Duration, it would be the next element that you get from music, is how long a note should be. Should it be four counts long? Or four counts. One, two, three, four. Should it be two counts? One, two, like a half note would be this call. So a whole note, four counts. One, two, three, four. Half note, one, two. Then we have a quarter note, one count, one, one one, one, and even smaller than that is an eighth note, which gets a half count, one and. So the best way to describe this is when you're tapping your foot to the beat of the music. When it goes down, that's a number, like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. When it goes up, that's an and. That's your halfway point between each of the numbers. So you go one and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. And those are your eighth notes. Turns out there's eight of them. One and, two and, three and, four and. All together, that's eight. So beyond duration, the next step would be dynamics, which discuss how loud or soft the sound should be. Dynamics can range from very, very soft to almost, you know, almost inaudible, all the way up to as loud as you could possibly make it. P is the letter indicated on music for the term piano, meaning soft. This would indicate a sound that should be played softly. There's a range of sounds from the typical range is pianissimo through fortissimo, meaning uh, pianissimo, two Ps, meaning very soft, piano, one P, meaning soft, mezzo piano, medium soft, or moderately soft is actually the correct translation. Mezzo forte, or MF, would be moderately loud. Forte would then be loud, and then two Fs would be fortissimo very loud. Also in dynamics, there is the crescendo and diminuendo, uh, or the crescendo and decrescendo, depending on how you want to look at it. Uh, the crescendo goes from small to large, and it's, you know, one of these guys. And it can be very, very long, and what it means is to get from whatever volume you're at to a much louder volume. This is a crescendo. Uh, a decrescendo or diminuendo goes the other way, it goes from large, the sound you're at, to small, so meaning to get softer. So a crescendo, get bigger, decrescendo or diminuendo, get smaller. So in articulation, this discusses how we hit a note. You don't just play notes. Notes aren't just singular things that you just don't, it's just not like a button you're pushing to produce a sound. Not every note is going to sound the same. It's up to the player to make the note actually sound like something. Uh, something that means something, really more so than just a note, right? As I try to express to every student that I teach, every note matters. And if you're playing a note that doesn't matter, if you don't care what that note sounds like, you shouldn't be playing that note. Put your heart and soul in every single note that you play. Why wouldn't you? Um, beyond that, the really important ones, though, are staccato. So if you look at a note and a note could have a uh, dot above or below that note. What that's going to tell you is to play that note shorter, or basically like half the length of its value. And then the other half of the note, you would just be silent. That's that rest we were talking about, silence. 
So a quarter note would really be like playing a singular eighth note, but make it short, make it sweet, make it punch, but not too hard, just short and concise. Bop, 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 bop. These are short staccato notes. The opposite of staccato is called legato, meaning smoothly connected. So this is when you let a note ride right into the next one. Ma, instead of regular notes, which would be ba, 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 or staccato. Ba, 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 ba. On a guitar, staccato is done by picking the note and muting the string quite immediately after you pick it. Ba, 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 ba. On a piano, it's done by striking the key very quickly. A legato on a guitar is done by hammer-ons or pull-offs, for example. So you'd hold the note down, and you'd quickly hammer another finger down on another fret of the same string without picking it to produce a smooth connection between those notes, or no gap, and no new real attack for the new note, so that they kind of connect together, and it kind of binds those two notes. Uh, the last thing I want to cover, in, as far as articulation goes, is uh, accents. The accent simply means to play that note louder than the surrounding notes. So it's a note that you really want to stick out for some reason. So as you start to look at all these different dynamic shadings that you can put on a song, couple that with your articulations. Um, beyond that, of course, you've got duration and pitch to deal with, but articulation and dynamics really are the true shape of what you're listening to. Otherwise, it's just a series of notes. It's like reading letters on a page, which is not how music really is. Um, so it's good to have some of these basic concepts down. Anyway, that's some terms for us today. Uh, we will come back another day and do some others some other time. Maybe right now, depending on if I've made that video yet or not. Ha <laughs> ha! Click subscribe. Catch you next time.